Welcome to Soul Horoscope Zodiac Weather. My name is Christopher Watecki, and I'm your stand-up astrologer. Well, it's Friday. Friday, March 27, 2009. The sun's progressed to 7 degrees Aries now, and the moon is still in Aries. Let's take a look at those planets. Well, as you probably know from yesterday's show, it was light cast day. Look at this stellium we got going on up here in Aries. It's a party going on. Let's zoom in. Today, the moon continues in Aries for one additional day, though today, instead of crossing the sun, it will cross in front of retrograde Venus. Venus, the creation vibration. Retrograde means we are recreating, we are rethinking, we are rekindling. So we'll probably all go through a little bit of a blast from the past kind of experience as the moon crosses Aries, fills us with love, but also probably confuses us because we're thinking about something else. And each of 12 zodiac races and their horoscopes, I'll be outlining that. Also important, today the sun is ruled by Neptune. Neptune is the meditation vibration, so that's the time to ask our higher self for answers. I'll be coaching each of you on how to take care of that and how to get an answer from the universe that you can trust. Lastly, let's look at Jupiter. Jupiter is in Aquarius. Ah, and isn't she beautiful? And Jupiter, of course, is fortune, expansion, etc. Jupiter now, for the next seven days, is saying it's now time to act on this potential for fortune. And up until now, a lot of people are writing me going, where's the damn fortune? Well, we're just now ready to pop into it. In two weeks, we're going to be in Chapter 3. And now at the end of Chapter 2, it's time to act on what you can act on when it comes to drawing in this fortune. But before you click on your horoscope, let's take a look at the moods of each of your brothers and sisters. And as always, let's begin with our air signs. Gemini, sunny and social. Time to act on expanding your wisdom with that Jupiter. The Libra is sunny and sentimental. It's going to be a creative or romantic uh, fortune for them this year. And the Aquas are sunny and chatty. It's time to expand your ego and personality. It will bring fortune, Aqua. Now on to our combustible fire signs. Aries, sunny and cool for another day in a row. It's time to act in their plans with society right now. The Leo, sunny and pensive. Time to act in marriages and partnerships. And the Sagittarius are sunny and childlike. Time to act with your attitude and expanding your intellect. And for those of you that are writers, time to get published. Now on to our dirt signs. Taurus, cloudy and feeling crabby today. It's time to act on career decisions. But don't worry, Taurus. The moon moves into Taurus on Saturday, so things will perk up a bit. The Virgos, sunny with a chance of Randy. Time to act on expanding your lifestyle in the next seven days. And the Capricorns are sunny, nesting, and resting. Time to act on raising your prices. Then lastly, the H2Os. Cancer, sunny and professional. Time to act on expanding your trust and boundaries in the world. The Scorpios, sunny and hyper aware of themselves. Time to act on expanding their home, their family, or their foundation. And the Pisces are sunny and productive. Time to act on expanding your faith in yourself and the universe, which means you've got to pull the weeds in that damn soul garden. All right, that's all I have for today's Ask Zodiac Weather. Be sure to click on your own horoscope for the details on the moon in Taurus this weekend and where to act. And we're out there under a nice stabilizing moon in Taurus. I'll be in this studio covered. Your Astro.